Well, welcome back, Pokefans, to the Pokemon Overload playthrough. In the last episode, we battled Ixia, who was that witch with the regional Celebi. She gave us um, an item, I think it was some sort of spirit fragment or something like that. But apparently there's more, and the Sissianti clan are going to want to collect them so they can bring Unctena to, obviously, our world. After that, we made our way to Abrega City, which is obviously where we are now. Um, we do need to explore, because we haven't done that yet, but we are here to see someone. I can't remember who it was though now. The city has always managed to stay out of the conflicts in the region. Here we don't know anything about Team Gatling, nor about those natives of the Sissianti clan who are causing problems. That's interesting, so you're kind of secluded. Oh yeah, we also caught a new um, regional, the Venomoth. I'm not too sure why there's no um, music in the town. I can't remember if there was any when we came in. Oh, it must just be the town's dead silent. Route 20 is completely covered by water, offering a unique landscape of flooded forests that only exists in this part of the region. Oh, and if you're not careful, you could even get a curse from those dangerous swamp lilligant. Ooh, does that mean there's a regional lilligant? Apparently they have brought a strange incense to the voodoo hall that allows you to vividly remember childhood experiences. Voodoo magicians are using it to heal clients with repressed traumas. Sounds a bit creepy. West Sapphira has much more varied landscapes compared to East Sapphira. For example, when we finish visiting the swamps of this city, we will head to the mines beyond. It's as if the region had been created from right to left by a mine that was accumulating more experience and knowledge as the design progressed. That's interesting. Have you heard of Papaloto? He's like the supreme deity of voodoo practitioners. Tradition says that you can ask him for any wish in exchange for paying a high price, but many have ended up regretting it. Mm, yeah, I don't want to mess around with that voodoo stuff. Not that like, I'm a big believer in it, but just when you don't understand something, better not to mess with it. The Pelipper has been the emblematic Pokemon of our city since it was founded. Even our basketball team is called the Abrega Pelippers. I've just noticed the um, music's come back, so that was a bit weird. Be careful with that lake. I've heard that sometimes Pokemon with huge jaws appear in it. That could be Dreadnoughts, maybe. And we've got an empty house. Maybe someone appears in there later. This kid running in the puddles. Puddles are the most thing ever. Fun thing ever. I don't know why adults get so depressed when it rains. Yeah, to be fair, when you're a kid, I think every kid runs through puddles and gets muddy. Voodoo may seem like a solution to your problems, but in the long run, it brings even more complications. Stay away from voodoo. I completely agree. If you go to Route 20, you'll find an impressive swamp, or as they call it here, Bayou. This is a flooded forest. If you're going to visit it, go with caution. I've heard that a hermit goes around scaring everyone who approaches. Hermit. A Braga station. Have you seen the elderly Psyducks wandering around town? Nobody knows where he came from. It's a bit of a pity. The population of a Braga city was formed from the slaves brought from the distant region of Safar, who were gradually granted freedom. Safar has many stains in the past, but instead of trying to hide it, we must condemn it, learn from it so as not to repeat it. So there's a lot of random sort of facts in this game obviously not actual facts but relating to the game last week my cousin from Galar was visiting us and he was amazed by the Sapphire extension we had to explain to him the concepts of East and West because he only knew two cardinal points travel is part of great experiences in life but not all travel needs to be physical or external there are people who have travelled more than anyone else without leaving their hometown depends on what you mean like spiritually like going to different dimensions and all that sort of stuff. Something strange is happening in the Braga city. In the last month, 10 of my friends have disappeared. I think the Salon Voodoo has something to do with it. Look, I'll give you this to protect you from black magic should the occasion arise. So what's this Salon Voodoo? I'm assuming that's probably where we're going to have to go. The city was originally founded by settlers from Kalos was later brought by the Kingdom of Iberia and finally conquered by the government of Sapphira. That's why here is a melting pot of cultures of people from many parts of the world. Um, that definitely looks like a regional litigant. 
When Lilligant starts dancing there is no one to stop her, she will not stop until she's completely exhausted. The next best thing would be to come in with a flamethrower and do something about it but the government has become very picky about preserving the flora and fauna in this area. Let's wait for a while and see if they leave. I mean they look a little bit like a ghost type maybe. To be fair they could be grass poison. President Apollo has hired a very bad guy as a bodyguard, did you know that? He's a kind of mercenary. After what's happened to him, it seems perfectly understandable to me. So who's his bodyguard? That that sounds like and looks like Schmeagel, but different. So Sh Schmeagel must have a, or Schmeagel, however you want to call it, must have a region as well. What the hell is this? Abrega City has a long tradition of dance and jazz, which was one of the reasons I became interested in studying music. Are they actual people? That's a little bit weird. And what's this? Oh, it's just a spinder. Hey, is that poke flute you're carrying? Well, here's another flute. Um, we've got a white flute. Thank you for that. Verbena Voodoo Hall. I think that's where we actually need to go. Have you been to the port? Apparently that's where they hold the city's famous magic shows. You look like a smart person. Would you do this poor old lady a favour? You see, on the other side of town, on Route 20, there is some a somewhat hostile place called Bayou Abrego. In that place, there is a hut where a person lives. I need you to deliver this to him. And that's it. You don't have to know anymore. If you do, you'll make this poor old lady's heart very happy. Yeah, I'm a little bit suspective of that. That voodoo stuff is superstition. I think in the end, it's all in the mind and how we deal with different situations in life. I'll tell you that Verbe Verbena has, that's who we've got to see actually here, yeah. has cured my cataracts thanks to voodoo magic. My granddaughter does not believe that there are powers in this world that are simply unexplainable. I've been seeing strange people coming out of the voodoo room lately, well, a little weirder people than usual of course. Have you been to the, oh uh, yeah we've already spoken to you, I think we've spoken to you as well. Yeah we have. Fabena has promised to put on the biggest voodoo show in history at the next Mardi Gras. What will it be about? She says that she will have us all delighted. And what's actually down here? Hey, can't you get me a firestone? I need it for my growl off, but I'm out of money. I'll trade it for another one of my stones if you like. And we've got a sunstone. He's literally... Uh, that's literally just evolved once we give him. And what do you sell? Surplus. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, Ampharosite, Houndoomite, Scissorite, Alteriorite. Some interesting megastones there. The musical culture of the Braga City has been very important worldwide. For example, the most famous trumpeter, trumpeter in history was born here. I want to try my Pokemon, but there's no way to motivate him. You can tell he's lazy in nature. I believe that in the Voodoo Salon you could change his nature. That's interesting. What, don't you know the statue is? It's Papaloto, the patron of Voodoo Magic. If you leave an offering at the base of his statue, you can make a wish. Yes, sometimes he's very treacherous. I asked him to learn how to dance and he made me a Rastafari. Verbena needs very strange components for her voodoo rituals, components that come from the most exotic places in the world. No one knows where that old soul side up came from, it's been there all its life. He's always sad and sick, but the thing is that he doesn't want to leave with any trainer. Psyduck seems sad and listless, not paying much attention to you. He does look pretty... ill, to say. Now yeah, we've got Pearl, can sell that. Sand slash picks, lick it tongue, language. Why would anyone need things like that? This voodoo stuff is creepy. Well, we can't go there yet, so I think the only place left to go is in here. I welcome you to the Voodoo Verbena Salon. If you wish to request a spell from Verbena or one of our other wizards, go to the leftmost door. If you come and see the Pokemon Hypnotist, all to the nature of your Pokemon, go to the middle door. The door to the halfway on the right is for authorised personnel only. 
Sounds a little bit ritualistic, doesn't it? Hello kid, I'm the hypnotist. I can hypnotize your Pokemon to change their nature. Would you like to change the nature of the Pokemon that's with you right now? 100,000 Pokedollars? I will definitely pass, thank you. What do we have here? Looking for something special. Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to the Voodoo Verbena Salon. I see something in your past. Yes, something that weighs on your spirit. A childhood memory, maybe. We can delve into it and even see that you what you couldn't see at the time. Want to go back in time for 10,000 poker dollars? Okay, here we go. Let's dig into that part of your childhood. Here it is. We will travel 16 years into the past. Something happened that changed your life more than you can imagine. Oh wow. Did you watch the Pokemon League channel yesterday, Pokex? Wow, what you missed? The champion put on a cool fight with his Corviknight. How I wish I was a Pokemon trainer, but my father says I'm still too young to be able to take care of one. That it's something that requires a lot of responsibility. You have been very lucky with that Growlithe that your parents gave you. I've read that if you train it well it can become a very strong Pokemon. I have an idea, I know what we can do today. Let's go to Route 1, Pokeaxe. I'll catch my first Pokemon myself, and then my father will see that I'm already responsible enough. The question that I want to know is what actually happened to this Growlithe, because we clearly don't have it anymore. Look, Pokeaxe, it looks like that man is in trouble. Come on, little bird, stay away. Can't you see I don't have any Pokemon with me? I'm totally harmless. I just want to take my morning walk in peace. Fleet. Stop. Don't peck me. You guys, can you get it off me? No, we don't know how to fight, sir. I wish we were trainers, Pokeax. Very well in that case, I'll throw a Pokeball at it. Look how he's running now. He doesn't seem to be amused at being caught. Well, now you won't get rid of the Pokeball. Okay, caught. Wow, I'm so envious. I want to do that too. Don't you have a Pokemon boy? Then keep this one. Ah, that's how he got his Braviary, yeah? Really? But it looks like a Pokemon with a lot of spirit. Can I be its trainer? Don't set limits for yourself. You're very young. You can do whatever you set your mind to. Wow, thank you. Who are you? You don't have an accent from around here. My name is Rose. I come from the Galar region, hence the accent. Once upon a time I was a great businessman, but now I'm retired and I want to go through Sapphira. Galar, my father was there once on business. You were the son of Febo, right? That of the railways. I met him the other night at a mutual friend's birthday party. A very nice guy, your father. Well, he'll be nice to others for me, just forced me to study all day and go to extracurricular activities. He won't even let me have Pokemon. Ha ha ha, your father sure wants what's best for you, that's for sure. But the day will come when you take charge in your own life, and believe me kid, when that day comes, you have to be willing to do anything to achieve your dreams. Don't let anyone stand in your way. I'll take your advice, Mr. Rose. Thank you very much. The next day, something happened that you never knew about, but that affected the rest of your life. Apollo went to see his father in the railway workshop. If my dad sees that I've gotten a Pokemon, maybe he'll change his mind and let me train. Hey, he's Pokeaxe's father. Well, back to work. I still have to prepare the new engine that has arrived. Hello, is my father here? Well, he left a while ago, Apollo, but he should be about to arrive. Cool, I'll wait for him here. So what's going to happen, I wonder? <laughs> my dad is going to freak out when he sees that I have such a strong poke in my hands. You and I are going to be great partners, you'll see. I'm going to train you very well. Fleet, fleet. Take it easy, this is my father's workshop, no one's going to hurt you. Uh oh, no, don't do that. But, what the hell? Oysters, forgive me. Something must have happened to the engine. What is this? I'll go away for a while and find that everything is upside down. It's alright, Mr. Febo, the new engine had a small explosion, but I'll fix it right away. Be more careful, that engine is worth a lot of money. Did you have anything to do with it, son? Did you do one of your pranks? I... I... It was his fault. I saw him kicking the engine in a bad way, see if it would work. I understand. 
I'll have to talk to him at the end of the day. You don't have to come tomorrow, you're fired. Oh wow. P please Mr. Febo, I promise I won't make any more mistakes. You could have hurt another worker, or even my son. I'm very sorry but that's the way it is. I beg you, give me one last chance. We have a lot of expenses at home lately. And we're saving up to send Pokiax to study somewhere good next year. I think I've spoken clearly enough. Don't make me tell you again. Oh wow, the little shit. This is why you don't lie. Juju, ju, what a beautiful memory, isn't it? Children can be very mischievous at times. Anyway, I have a show to prepare for. I hope you found this session helpful. So I wonder how we're going to take that now. Knowing all that time. All that time. Our father got sacked because of Apollo when he was a kid. Can we get round here yet? No, we can't. So who have we got to go and see? I'm a little bit confused. Is it up here? No, they're still there. I'm pretty sure that's who we were supposed to go and see. So we've been here. There's no nothing down here, is there? No, because we've been in there as well. Unless we have to talk to someone here. Can't talk to anyone. Oh, it might be that hooded person. This person. Oh, it's Ixia. Pokiax, you're here already. Look, I've already found Verbena. She's the one up there on the stage. I think she's going to give one of her famous voodoo shows. We'll have to wait for it to finish so we can talk to her about the spirit fragments. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for a magical evening? Yes. Ready to observe the most powerful magic phenomena you will ever see? Yes. Let your mind go blank. If you relax you can witness voodoo. You will all be amazed. I can transform your future with these hands. There is nothing impossible for me. What does your heart seek? No matter. Any wish will come true. I will make you the version of yourselves that you long for. Humans or Pokemon does not matter. We are all looking for something in this life. Oh my god, that Caterpie just turned into a Gyarados. As difficult as it may seem, Verbena can do it. Cure diseases, get riches, change your luck. The voodoo can do it all. She's obviously got a spirit fragment or something. Thank you. Thank you very much, dear audience. Remember that the Verbena Voodoo Room is always open to everyone. Materialise your dreams now. What's going on there? Oh my god, that's just came to life. Sorry to have to say goodbye now, dear audience. I'm a busy person. Well, that was a little weird. Wow, she ran off so fast that we didn't get a chance to talk to her. But she's good, isn't she? She knows a lot about magic and the occult. Someone like her is the right person to give us information about the spiritual fragments and help us know what is going on. Maybe if we go to a voodoo lounge. Who's this? Oh, it's Derringer. What a show fraud, right? Just cheap tricks. Oh, Celebi's not happy. Who are you? Did you intend to attack me? Alas, I admit that this was not one of my most super effective entries. Hello Pokiax, it's been a while, but I'm glad to hear things went well for you. At least a lot better than me. You know this guy Pokiax, but he's so bald. And you look like a little red riding hood girl. Have a little more prudence. That was a burn. Pokiax and I were rivals in the past. 
I did some things wrong and he managed to stop me and he did good. You mean she. But you can calm down now. I have definitely abandoned the bad path. I can feel your soul and it is full of rage, darkness and contradictions, but also deep regret. Who are you exactly? Call me Deringer, girl, because my real name has been out of use for a long time. Said so Deringer, have you come to help us? You have seen the snake, right? You have seen Unctena. We have seen it, and not even in my worst nightmares could I imagine such an evil Pokemon. I have some clues on how to avoid their arrival, and I want to share them. In fact, everything is very related to the topic you were talking about before, the spirit fragments. Is that right? Well, it's lucky to have found you then. We won't be able to talk safely here. The enemy spies are everywhere. I've rented a house in the city near the lake. Come and I will tell you everything there. Okay, but I have to talk to Verbena first. I will go to a voodoo salon. She will recognise me right away and then we will talk. You shouldn't trust that woman. She has spent her life making packs that she cannot keep. But Benny is my friend. We know each other and I know that she's a lovely person. I won't be long, okay? I promise you. Well, as you wish. At least you can stop by my house, Pokéx. I'll be waiting for you at the door so you can locate me. Okay, so... Where should we go first? Should we go to the voodoo salon, see if anything's happening there? And then after that we can go into the what's it called go and locate Deringer's house okay it doesn't look like there's anything going on here so we're gonna have to go and find the house so we said it's by the lake oh here it is there you are, Pokéx. I knew you would come. You won't regret trusting me, you'll see. Come and have a lot to tell you. I hope he's a good guy now. Oh, who are these people? Hey, who are you? If you come for the rent, tell the landlord that I'll pay him in a couple of days without fail. Oh my god, they look possessed. Capture. Are you deaf or what? Get out of here right now. Now it looks like we're having a battle. Mental slave Christian. With a whimsicott. Let's go Venomoth. Um, go for a bug buzz. Gush under too much. It's like base 40 I think. Although that bug buzz didn't do much. Okay we'll set up a quiver dance. We'll also outspeed now as well. And one more bug buzz should finish this. Let's just hope it's something that doesn't resist whatever we hit it with next. Uh, Bile plume, that's not too bad actually. Can just psychic. Oh my god, that's a crit and it only did that much. How is that possible? Okay, so we got rid of that now. I'm pretty sure there was only two Pokemon, so that should be it. We've failed. Better escape. Look how they run, the damned. The enemy was stalking us. I knew it. We are no longer safe here. See if your friend will arrive soon. There's something about this city that's giving me the creeps. Anyway, Pokéx. You may be wondering what happened to me after our confrontation at Sierra Burial. Leader Brezzo rescued me. I rested a few days in his cabin and then I went to look for both you and that girl with blue hair. I think her name is Gala, right? But by then you were already participating in the Pokemon League and it would have been suicide for me to try to get close. President Apollo would have jumped on me. I had abandoned all hope of meeting you again until, after a while, I felt a strange connection with you and I could see in my dreams how you wandered through West Sapphire. I believe that those of us who have been chosen by Astrum have a certain affinity to be able to feel and find each other. Kind of like a thread of fate. Crazy, right? Oh, the music's changed. I became obsessed with the idea of doing this completely alone and being the absolute hero. However, I now see that my role in this story is going to be much smaller than I'd imagined. 
but that doesn't make me any less important. Besides, Gallup was right. Ashram wanted us to collaborate and share the information that he was giving us, since his time on the earthly plane is very limited. You've already got a spirit fragment, right? Astrium once told me if you collect all 8 spirit fragments you will awaken an unparalleled power that will allow you to protect the Pokemon world from the veracity of Unctena. Apparently these spirit fragments are a weapon that the Great Spirit left for humanity to defend itself against planetary catastrophes or something like that. Um, I wish we could contact Astrium again but he's getting weaker. Soon it will vanish altogether then we will definitely be left without a guide. Uh oh, there's a knock at the door. Maybe it's your friend Little Red Riding Hood. I got a feeling this is not going to be her. No. Your friend gave off a very particular and melancholic smell like a forest. However, what's behind the door smells terrible. Prepare your Pokeballs, Pokeax. Okay, everything's changed. Something bad is happening in this city, I have no doubt. I have a feeling Little Red Riding Hood isn't coming tonight. Didn't she say she was going to the Voodoo Verbena Salon? I don't think she came out of there. We should go after her, the girl is special. I have a plan Pokeax, pay attention. Every day ships arrive at the port bringing strange goods for the Voodoo Salon. If we can get into one of the merchandise crates, maybe we can sneak into the private part of the room. I'm sure they have the girl locked up in there. I'll wait for you at the port. Let's get to work. Okay then, so we're going to end it there. Um, yeah, this town definitely is a little bit on the spooky side. And this story is just getting better and better. Um, thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you all next time.